Master Plumber exposes three common tankless water heater myths. Three common tankless water heater myths. Guys, these are things that I hear other plumbers telling customers all the time. I'm a master plumber and I own a residential service hey. plumbing company just outside of Dallas. I get calls a lot to come in behind other plumbing companies that maybe didn't do things right. My question to you is, why do you believe everything a plumber tells you? Now, don't get me wrong. Some plumbers are good, honest, and sincere. Some plumbers just want to sell you the thing they can make the most money on. Are tankless water heaters more expensive? Absolutely. And I try to talk people out of them most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. Make sure you stay around to the end because I'm going to tell you the biggest reason why or why not a tankless water heater might be the best thing for you. Plumbers sell it as it's just a change out. We're going to take out the other tank top water heater and we're going to put in a tankless. Now, normally there's a lot more to that. Your regular tank top water heater takes no electricity. Right now, I'm talking gas water heaters. But if you do have an electric water heater, it's going to take a lot more electricity to go to an electric tankless. So either way, whether you go tankless gas or tankless electric, you are probably going to need more electricity or you're just going to have to have electricity there. Why? A tankless water heater has a pump in it. It has an ignition system that fires up and does what it does. Most tank top water heaters don't have any electricity unless maybe you have a flood stop or something that is there for your benefit, which is a good thing to have. But most water heaters require no electricity to run. So most of the time, there's not an electrical outlet there. And when people talk about it being just a change out, your location may not be designed to hang something on the wall. If it's in a closet or in a garage, possibly so. If it's up in an attic, probably not. How many places in your attic can you look at that you could hang something that weighs about 75 pounds and have it hang securely and hook up water lines to it and drain lines to it, and a vent line to it, electricity, the whole nine yards, how many places in your attic are set up and designed for that? Because a plumber is going to have to do all this just to install this tankless water heater in that location. The piping is going to have to change. The configuration is going to have to change. If you have electricity, remember, more electricity to it. If you've got gas, chances are you're going to need a bigger gas line. Maybe not just a bigger gas line to the tankless water heater, maybe a bigger gas line all the way to your house. Guys, sometimes there have been some we've had to do a complete relay from the meter to the house just to get enough BTUs there. Your existing gas water heater takes about 40,000 BTUs. The tankless that you want to install is about 200,000 BTUs. You've got to make sure a plumber comes in, does it right to take care of you. Myth number two, water isn't instant. Everybody thinks once you put in a tankless water heater, you just turn it on and you've got hot water there. Master Guys, Plumber exposes it takes three the same amount of time or water longer to get from your tankless to where you're at. Think about this. Your tank top water heater, say it's in the garage and it's 100 feet away, and you turn on your hot water, it takes that hot water that's already ready that long to get to where you're at. Say you've got a tankless. Now you turn on the hot water. Your water heater now has to kick on, heat that water as it comes through the heat exchanger to get it to you. What if your incoming water is really cold. Now it has to slow that water down to heat it up more to get it to the temperature you want it. So maybe it takes it longer to get there. Plumbers that tell people a tankless hot water is instant hot water, it's not. It's hot water on demand. Meaning when you open that faucet, you're telling that tankless heater to go ahead and kick on and start making hot water. So guys, to be honest, that's what it is. Hot water on demand. It's not instant. It's not right there for you. But just like a tank type system, you can have a circulating pump on a timer to where it is hot all the time. There's different things that you can do. You can put in a comfort valve. You can put in the timer. You can put in a remote switch to tell it to go ahead and circulate and start getting hot. But when plumbers just tell people, if we take out your tank and we put in a tankless, you'll have hot water on demand. Guys, that is not true. Another bad thing about them is say 
my wife is in the shower and she gets out and turns the hot water off. And then I go get in the shower and I turn it on. I've got the hot water that she was finishing up with. While that tankless water heater was down, it had cold water that cooled down. That's a cold water sandwich. So I need to know that when I get in there and turn on my hot shower and it's nice and hot, all of a sudden it's going to get cold and then it's going to get hot again. That cold water sandwich is enough to piss you off. Most people buy tankless water heaters for those savings. Now, I'm going to be honest with you here because this is myth number three. There's probably not going to be a lot of savings, especially in the beginning. If you're doing a retrofit where you're changing out from a tank style water heater to a tankless, you're probably not going to see any savings the first few years. The reason being the water heaters themselves cost three or four times as much, even more. The installation, about the same. Guys, it costs a lot of money to convert from a tank type to a tankless, and who's going to pay that? Now, here's where I sell them. If it's a good installation, meaning a lot of gas work doesn't have to be redone, a lot of vent work doesn't have to be redone, condensate drains there, a lot of it is there, it's an easy install, that's not a bad deal. You could actually see the value of it then. The reason being, if I take out a tankless and put in another one, I don't have to repop a whole lot of things. I don't have to redo a whole lot of things. So there's no initial cost. But if this is your forever home and you know you're going to live in this house 20 or 30 years, going to tankless may not be a bad deal because when it's time for a new one, 15 or 20 years from now, pull the old one out, put the new one in. It's not near as hard. So the ROI is going to pay off more in the second and third water heater than it is in the initial one. Think about it. If you've got to redo your gas line, you've got to redo your vent pipe, you've got to run a drain for the condensate, you've got to run an electrical line for the pump, there's a lot of additional expenses there that it's going to cost you to convert. So the ROI may be in the long run. Guys, here's a tip. If you're a plumber, look at people's houses and be honest with them and tell them, say, you know what? This really wouldn't be a good location for a tankless water heater. I know that. I wanted to go tankless, but I live in a two-story house and would have had to redo the vent pipe through a chase in the upstairs because my water heater's in a garage. Or I would have had to run those water lines up to the attic to put my tankless in the garage. Guys, I'm a plumber and the ROI wasn't worth it for me. I went back in with a tank top water heater. If you're a homeowner, call and talk to a plumber. Tell them about your situation. Maybe even send them pictures. Sometimes if I have somebody calling saying, we want to go tankless, I may just run over and look at it real quick and give them advice, free advice. Hey, this may not be a good installation for you. We just wanted to look at it and let you know by the size of your gas line coming into your house, by where it's located, by the fact there's no electricity, there's a lot of different factors to look at that you start saying, hey, this price is going to go up and up and up and up. And that's not what people want to hear. If you've converted from a tank top water heater to a tankless, let me know, was it worth it to you? Was the ROI worth it? Did you get your money back? Have you saved money? Has your gas bill gone down? There's a lot of things to think about and a lot of things to factor in when looking at the possibility of converting over. So if you have done it, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you're a plumber that's done this for a customer, do me a favor, leave me a comment and let me know, have you followed up with them to see what do they think about it? Did they love it? Was a great investment? Or is it like, you know what? We just paid a whole lot of money for a little bit more hot water. Please let me know. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please share it with somebody that might be thinking about a tankless water heater. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.